Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help
Yeah, change your future, starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share this with you about substance abuse. And let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you, you know you're not dead. You don't know how to open the coffin and push the enormous weight that's upon the lid. So you start banging on the coffin. On the lid, you bang so hard to hopefully unsettle the dirt so that maybe if somebody's standing by your grave, they might notice and start digging their way down to help you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help. You know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know which way to turn. In reality, there probably are people standing by your grave, but you don't know that. You just think you're going to get your last breath in here, and then death will surely arrive. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they are habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever come across your mind when you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose and take something that's so preciously given to you by the Lord Jesus, your life, away from you, from your family, your children? With this, I want to leave you one other thought. Don't be that person in the coffin banging on the lid, hoping, just hoping for somebody to help you. Be the person instead that's watching me now that needs help to go out and reach out for help. There are people that can help you, people like me at 844-405-HELP. Um, I am the host. I'm an addiction recovery coach, and I'm here to help take your life back. Call me, 844-405-HELP. Let me help you take your life back before you'll be like this person on these cards I just read about and your life will be gone. There are people like Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. He is an addiction recovery coach, a life coach for over 30 years. He and I always tell our clients it doesn't matter where you're coming from, what your background is. What matters is that you're reaching out to, to ask for help today. You don't want to be like that person laying in the coffin looking for help when it's too late. Call Larry at 516 45 Eight two seven four one. That's five one six four five eight two seven four one. Larry Geis will help you with your addiction to your recovery, from your depression to happier times, from your low self esteem to higher self esteem. You can go find him on on the internet at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Go to Larry Geis from the Geis Academy, and when you speak to him, you let him know that you heard about him on the Take Your Back uh, Take Back Your Life show. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. Five one six four five eight two seven four one www.odysseyconsultant.org Let Larry Geis take back your life for you. Folks, globaleyeglasses.com They have over 1,200 frames. They have plastic frames, metal frames, no frames at all, folks. They have no line bifocals, line bifocals. They have the lenses that get dark outside, go clear inside, cool transitions. They have uh, shatterproof lenses. They have uh, sports lenses. They have thinner lenses. They have coatings like anti-reflecting coating, scratch coating, and UV coating. They have full frames, no frames, half frames, all available at GlobalEyeGlasses.com. But what you do, need to do is to take that first step. Go to your keyboard, type in www.globaleyeglasses.com. Their slogan is, let them focus on saving you money. My slogan to you is, is that I want you to be able to focus in on me. So go there. I have made a deal with GlobalEyeGlasses.com, being that I have 30 years experience in the optometry field that whoever calls me, I will help them pick out the right frame, the right lenses, and give you a code for free shipping. But you need to go to www.globaleyeglasses.com. Let them focus on saving your money. Folks, today I was on Facebook and I noticed a, I can't mention her name, 
Um, I did send her the message asking her if I could, but I never heard from her, so I will not mention her name. Uh, but this particular person got some bad medical news, and uh, coincidentally, I just the other day did a little research on how to deal with bad medical news, and I was going to do this show next week, but I decided to do it today. Um, and I want to dedicate this show to my friend. Uh, I wish I could mention her name, but the news that she got uh, would probably send you and I, or most of us, over the edge. Um, I do believe with the power of prayer she'll be fine. I know that she's gone through so much in her life and she's defeated every obstacle she's gone through and I know she'll be fine with this, but uh, if you're watching me, I want you to know, I'm talking about to my friend now, I want you to know that you are in my prayers. I know God will guide and direct you properly. I know God will guide and direct the doctors that are in charge of your situation. And I know for a fact you'll be fine at the end of the day. Uh, a lot of times uh, the, uh, the news that we get aren't the most pleasant uh, uh, things that we want to hear, but these are all tests that God gives you to, to, to test you. And I know for a fact God knows that you have way too many people counting on you. and He cannot take you away from them. He will guide. He will protect. He will direct you. He will protect you. He will be with you as well as all your friends and your family. We are all here, standing, hand in hand, waiting to assist you. All you need to do is shout out for anything I can personally help you with. I know I've helped you with a family member before. I can certainly help you now. So this show, How to Deal with Bad Medical News, is directly dedicated to my friend, who I cannot mention a name without her permission, but she knows if she's watching who she is. So you just received bad medical news and you're not sure how to deal with it. Maybe you were told you have some dreaded disease or maybe you are giving some sad news uh, and don't understand how it may affect you down the road. You may be feeling depressed, unsure of what to do. In any case, here are some tips that I have come up for you and anyone else watching how to deal with bad medical news. Number one is to be prepared for potential bad news. We all always have to be prepared. If you have not already received the bad medical news, but suspect you will from your doctor's uh, last appointment that your doctor... Number two is to clarify what exactly the bad medical news is and how it will affect you and your well-being. This may take time and often be even more than one minute, uh, one meeting to accomplish, as shock and denial is frequently the first emotional response to any bad news. Most people, upon receiving the bad news, become flooded with emotions, making it difficult to comprehend any discussion that follows. If that is the case, it is often helpful to ask the doctor to give you a written materials about the condition and the treatment and take it home, read it, study it, and calm yourself down. Number three is find out all about your condition from a re re reliable sources. Search for your condition on the internet, find books in the library, read journals and articles, and discuss conditions. Humans tend to fear the unknown. The more you know about the condition, the more comfortable you will be and prepare to deal with its ramifications. Try to keep in mind that the information posted on the internet causes even more fear. You might want to avoid the internet and talk to local support group. They can recommend which sites for good for information and which are, sites are not that great. And I will tell you from experience in doing this for quite some time now, the Mayo Clinic has the best medical information. So. Try to utilize that. Number four is try to stay calm. Excessive worry does not help you during these times. 
Don't overreact to bad medical news. Understand that one cannot change what has already happened, but only how you respond to it. Try to keep your cool to focus on its solutions. Number five is get as much support as you can immediately. Don't say, I'll try to deal with it myself, and if I need help, I will ask for it later. Folks, that is not the right way to do it. Later may be too late to ask for help. Tell it immediately to all your loved ones and friends who will listen to you. They may be able to offer you helpful insights on how to deal with your condition. And, and the process of opening up to others is emotionally healing by itself. Number six is be aware of the common Kubler-Ross grief stages in receiving the bad news. And these are the stages. Denial, anger, bargaining, grieving, and acceptance. Most people go through these stages, though not necessarily in this order at all, and often may experience more than one stage at a time. Seek professional help immediately, counseling, psychiatrist, if necessary. Number seven is don't dwell too much on the bad medical news. Exercise, spend time with others, and do fun things, and think happy thoughts. Smile, meditate, definitely pray. Try to develop and maintain a positive attitude always and not let bad medical news prevent you from living your normal life and carrying out your daily routines. Last but not least, number eight, be prepared for the worst outcomes. And I hate to say this, but we all need to be prepared. If you are given a limited life expectancy based on a disease prognosis, plan ahead to accomplish what you need to do before your time comes. Look into the palliative care who can not only make transition more comfortable, but uh, may improve the quality of life as well. Maybe it's a book you need to finish writing. Maybe it's an old acquaintance you need to forgive. Or maybe it's some unfinished project you need to fulfill. In any case, make sure these things get done while you can. Ha have a living will or durable power of attorney if applicable. And that's only for the worst scenario. And folks, I can't sugarcoat how to deal with bad medical news. This has come directly from the Mayo Clinic. Can't sugarcoat it. Don't be offended, whoever is watching, that I had to say that number eight, but reality is reality. And to my friend, 99.9%, .9 I am certain you will be fine. Be prepared for potential bad news is number one. If you have not already received the bad, uh, the bad news but and you're going to the doctor, do yourself a favor and take a loved one with you. Number two is clarify what exactly the medical news is and how it will affect you and your ongoing life. This may take some time or be more than one me meeting to accomplish, but make sure you get it done. Number three is find out all about your condition from reliable sources. Although I recommend uh, the internet, I do recommend go to www. I believe it's mayoclinic.org. But uh, go to the Mayo Clinic. Don't just read anything. Uh, don't just Google whatever the situation might be. Number four, try to stay calm. Easier said than done. Excessive worry will not help you, and it will bring your stress level up and bring your immune system down. Number five is get as much support as you can immediately. Don't say, I'll try to get deal with it myself, because the more support you have, the better it is for you. Please be aware of the common Kubler-Ross grief stages, and they are as follows. It starts with anger. Uh, I'm sorry, it starts with denial, anger, bargaining, grieving, and acceptance. Maybe not in those, in that format, but you might experience one at a time. You might experience all six at a time. Seek professional help if you need it. Number seven is don't dwell too much on the bad medical news. Exercise, spend time with others, smile, meditate, and pray. And I don't want to have to repeat number eight, but it is mandatory that we all face what is reality. Be prepared for the worst outcome. If you're given a limited life expectancy based on a disease prognosis, plan ahead to accomplish what you need to do before your time comes to, uh, comes to an end. Look into the palliative care, who can not only make the transition more comfortable, but may improve the quality of life as well. Maybe it's a book you need to finish. Maybe it's an old acquaintance you need to forgive. Or maybe 
Just maybe you have an unfinished project you want to fulfill. In any other case, make sure these things get done while you can. Having a living will or a durable power of attorney is always recommended, folks. My friend, if you're listening, folks, I know you're listening. Rely on God. Not just when times are bad for you. Not when you just get bad news. Rely on Him each and every day. Remember, God created you. God put you on this earth. God will protect and guide you. And I am a strong believer that everything happens for a reason, my friend. And I also believe that you, my friend, out there watching me, too many people need you. Too many people rely on you. This is just a stumble in the road. Dust your knees, stand up, and keep moving forward. Do exactly what the doctors tell you to do. Make sure that you speak to the Lord daily about this, and I guarantee you the outcome will be fine for you. Folks, getting bad news of any sort, medically, financially, relationship, is always a setback. It's what we take with that news, and how we work with that news is what makes us who we are. Do we just lie down and take the news and say, my life is over? Whether it's financial, so many people commit suicide because they're in financial ruins. So many people commit suicide because their husband and wives left them. So many people commit suicide when they get bad medical news. Don't be part of that statistic. Yet, be the statistics that will fight any disease, any financial setback, any relationship issues back. If you rely on God, God will protect you. Let God put his hand on you and say it's okay. It's okay, my friend. This is just a setback in life. I have faced so many setbacks. I have faced death so many times. I am here to tell you. I'm sitting here right now, and I'm telling you I have a hope for you. I have hope for me, and I have hope for all of us for a better tomorrow. I hope to God, no matter where you are watching me, that you have the best day of your life. I hope to God, whoever is watching me, has the best and most sober day and most sober life for the rest of their life. And I hope to God, for anyone that's out there that just recently or a while back or any of us in the future that might get bad medical advice, uh, not advice, news, that we all rely on two things, and that is rely on yourself, and most importantly, rely on your Lord Jesus Christ and may God bless each and every one of you. Yeah, change your future, it starts today Live life to the fullest, never skip a day Create hope, spread positivity Beat your addictions and negativity Ralph Reed Rich is here for you Call today so we can help you 1-844-405-HELP 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 We are here for you Call us today
The show is over, but your life starts today Taking back your life's the only way Keep faith, stay positive, push through Take back your life, it starts with you Alcohol and drugs can't control your life Let go of the negative and the strife Ralph Free Rick is the man guiding your way The show is over, but your life starts today Call Ralph Friedrich at 1-844-405-HELP That's 1-844-405-HELP We hope you love the show today and tune in next time Take back your life today show with Ralph Friedrich